Right, here we have the Everlast Rocket Book. And Everlast did a previous book called the Everlast Wave. And the idea was you did your notes and you wrote in it, then you chucked it in the microwave. And the heat from microwave in it would erase all of the ink and you have a fresh new book to start from. This one, slightly different. This one is, as I say, the Rocket Book. As it says here, Everlast Rocket Book. You have some icons here at the side and you will have these in the app. The idea being that you can mark a page using these icons. These icons are across the bottom of the page here. And you can say, well, okay, this one is for work. This one is for, say, notes. You can say, I want my uh, work stuff sent to my Google Drive. And I want my notes sent to Dropbox. I want this one sent to my email. So you can do all different stuff. Uh, the other magic part of this is the Frixion pens from Pilot. Now these are, you can buy these anywhere, the Frixion pens. And you can write on a piece of paper and you can erase using the bit on the end. Uh, the difference is that when you erase on a piece of paper, it does leave a very, very slight mark. It's not much and it's probably more than enough if you're just taking some quick notes, but this book's a bit different. So, let me show you. What you do is you choose which icon you want. So let's say I'm going to go and say, mine's is just, uh, we'll say it's going to be work and I'm going to use this icon. And in the app, I do have that icon linked to my Google Drive. So what I want to do is I want to send this page to my Google Drive. So I'm going to mark that icon at the bottom of the page, like that. Anything I put on this page is now going to go to my Google Drive when I use the app. So let's just do some silly little doodle thing here. Just something to send. Right, so that guy is going to end up in my Google Drive. And just so that you can see that there's different colors and it will keep the colors. Okay, and just again, going back to the black pen, um, if I was wanting to erase this, then I can erase it. So I can still use the old fashioned method of erasing. So I can still use the rubber on the end. Fair enough. But this thing has more tricks, more tricks than that. What you can do is, if you were to uh, make a mistake, Oops, I made a mistake. What you can do is get a piece of damp paper towel and just wipe it off. And it doesn't damage the page at all. It's like magic. It's wizardry. Uh, although I did kind of accidentally erase my little guy a wee bit. But, eh. Right, let me show you the app. Right, here's the app. And you need to have the page within that dotted line, as it says, position it within the screen. But first, I will show you some of the options, because I don't have anything here in the history. But you can go into the settings, and you can have, as I say, that icon associated with Google Drive. You can then say, well, this icon here, the diamond, I'm going to put it on a Dropbox or Evernote. Um, the envelope is just to email it and various other bits and bobs. You can send it as a PDF, you can bundle notes into groups and you can auto send notes so that as soon as you take the picture then it will straight away email it or send it to that 
uh, host, if you like. So I have it set so that it will automatically, as soon as I take the picture, it will straight away send it to my Google Drive. Right, let's see if I can get this to actually work within the camera and not move things. Right, I'm going to move it across and then remember, I have my little cross at the bottom. It needs to recognize that and it needs to recognize that barcode to know which page that is within the book. So, if I move it across, hopefully I can get this in camera. Probably not, but there you go, it's scanning. Took a picture, processing, and off it goes. And that is it, sending it to Google Drive. And done. And I can then, hopefully I can get that in focus. I can then bring that up and I can look at the picture that it's taking and it looks a bit kind of ropey on that video screen that I'm looking at but you can see that it has recognized the icon at the bottom and everything is there the color and everything so let me check Google Drive and here I am in Google Drive I just made a folder for Rocketbook and I can bring it up and there it is so that is now on Google Drive stored and it is an image file and it probably won't show me it very well but the actual file name see if i can get that to come up uh yeah so it tells you there that it's page one so it knows that it's page one if you're wanting to have various different page one page two page three sending them all to different places you name it, you can mix and match, you can pick multiple icons, so you could have it go to uh, Dropbox and email you. So there you go, that is the Everlast Rocketbook, and hopefully you can see the icons this time, at the bottom of the page, and the kind of, there is a very faint dotted pattern on the page. So this guy is in my Google Drive, so I no longer need this and I can just wipe it off. It's like magic. Magic, I tell you. <laughs>